Come on, baby. Come on. Up. Put the helmets down. Watch the water! It's gonna get snotty! I got it! I got it!
place, but at the start, Carlos and Charlie's was right up there, so they really should be in a better position. Well, in a short moment, we're going to go aboard Carlos and Charlie's and find out what might have happened right after the green flag, if they ran into any sort of problem. Carlos and Charlie's will be going aboard with Jack Carmody and Art Lilly to possibly find an explanation for the position that they are in right now. Let's go aboard Carlos and Charlie's. The steering wheel coming off slowed them down, as you can see. Quite a surprise to Mr. Jack Carmody and Art Lilly. Just about slowed them down to a complete stop, but now they are back on track and in third place and moving along. Edgar Marine on the outside. He is on on the inside. Uh-oh, jump, nice jump. Oh, they stopped it, they stopped it. The whole bow has been torn apart, but the boat is still floating. The crew members seem to be okay. Let's see it again. Nice jump, as you can see, but then the boat stops, goes into the water. The bow is totally torn apart, but miraculously, everyone is okay. The boat is still afloat, as you can see. It has no front, no bow. On the heat is on. Incredible. And lucky for the crew of Heat is on, Steve Abel's Buddy Street and Stephen Des Jordan. Look at that shot. Totally blown apart by these strong waters here in Key West. As you can see now, there is the boat, but the crew members once again, very lucky, they're okay. The Priest Rain Video Productions helicopter has called the Angel helicopter, which is on its way, but as you can see, the crew members seem to be okay. And final race. Uh-oh, what's happened here is apparently Alcon has flipped over. Going around the first turn, Alcon Motorsports has gone over. Stars Rescue Team on its way. There it is, flipped over. Over Alcone Motorsports with Matt Alcone and Jerry Gilbraith. The helicopters there, you can see one helicopter. That's the Alcone helicopter there at the scene. Diver going into the water. There we go. Diver is in the water. Once again, Alcone Motorsports flipping over on the first turn. And there you see the diver now going towards. The boat, and there's the star rescue team, another diver going in, going in to rescue the two crew members. And there we see one helmet there on the left side, popping up out of the water, and another helmet on the other side. So it looks like uh, hopefully Matt Alcone and Jerry Gilbraith are okay. Alcone Motorsports flipped over. Let's see it one more time here, going into the first turn. There's Alcone, Trambui on ice in the lead. There you see the hooking and flipping over. Apparently sliding and then going to the left. Let's see it on Drambui on ice now. And there is Alcone on the right side. There's Alcone Motorsports on the right side. Maybe we can see something from this vantage point as we are on Drambui on ice with our rear shot looking downfield. Alcone on the right side. As we approach the first turn. Alcon Motorsports.
Here you can see Alco sliding now and has flipped over. All right, let's see from a different angle. There's Grand Bowie on ice on the right side. Everyone going into the turn a little on the hot side. But we are aboard Alco Motorsports, and let's see what happens. Matt Alcone at the wheel, as you can see. Dram Bowie on the outside. Into the turn. Now you begin to see it sliding. Very to the left, to the right now. He's turning to the right, and he flips over. Let's see that one more time in slow motion. With a back shot. There you see part of the skeg breaking off. You just saw a piece of that. And there's Rambui on ice on the left side. Another piece flying off, as you can see, and now the boat begins to flip over. Turn. And there you can see uh, Matt at the wheel having a problem controlling the boat. Al Fiella and Mr. Alan Wagner aboard. And at this point, they don't seem to be having any problems whatsoever, but very shortly you will see what happened. There it goes, there it goes. It's flipped over. Bodyguard has gone 180 and has flipped over. And there you can see it's upside down. Some blue sky there. You can see the hull now is totally upside down. But as we said, Mr. Al Fiella and Alan Wagner got out safely. No injuries. Jack Tabasa, the driver, Phil Lip, just as the throttle man, Jack, the owner of F213. Cigarette, and there they are. Cigarette leads in points right now in SBI for the season having won in New Jersey and Key West. And currently is in second place in Factory 2. Jack Chabasso and Phil Lipschutz. Right now, MAB Paints is your leader in Factory 2. Then Cigarette in second place and Fountain in third. And Bruce Shirley will go on board Cigarette get some conversation between Jack Fossil and Phil Lipscha. Of course, Team Lazaro from Factory 2 stopped it a little bit earlier and is out of the race. There's Sloppy Joes on the outside. Sloppy Joes. Super Bowl class. And Coca-Cola right behind. On board now, cigarette with Jack Cabasso and Phil Lipschutz. Let's listen in. This is at the start.
Nice throwing there by Phil Lipschutz. Back at the wheel. You got plenty of room to the left. Oh man, that slot's way over there, huh? Yep. No, you're all right. You're right on it. racing season and an exciting one it is some 40 boats entered in all as we see some of the competitors there in the distance we see team Sutphin a factory two boat team Sutphin 33 foot Sutphin powered by two 500 horsepower mercury inboards Brian Kirby the driver Dale Kirby the navigator Doug Lewis the throttle man team Sutphin holds the kilo record in factory two at 88.29 miles per hour that is an A PBA record. This boat took a first place in Fort Myers, a second place in St. Cloud. There's Big Thunder Marine on the outside. Big Thunder Marine in third place in Superboat. But we're on Team Suffin right now with Brian Kirby, Neil Kirby, and Doug Lewis. Suffin Marine. Richard Suffin, the owner of Team Suffin. Hanging and banging going on. Currently in third place, Team Sutphin. Special thanks to Richard and Chris Sutphin. Great nine in production A, a 30-foot Infinity, powered by one 700-horsepower chief engine inboard with a PSI drive. The driver, Dave Peterson, the throttle man, James Madden. Right now, Freight not your leader in production A for SBI in this season so far with checkered flags in Key West, New Jersey, and Miami. Great not. Other competitors include Extreme Stainless Marine and Little Deuce Coop in production A. But currently, Great not number one. S113. Mitchell's from Birmingham, Alabama. Richard Ginsburg from Fort Lauderdale. There's Team Lazara, Team Lazara. You can see the damage on that boat. All right, let's go with Prime Go now, S31. It's powered by two, 2.5 EFIs. 
In stock class, Doug Kelly is the driver. Gary Ballou, the throttle man, currently in first place in S class. And nationally, the SBI was in third place before this race. Primeco. Gorilla Racing, the owner of Primeco. Out of Boca Raton, Florida. In first place, in stock. Primeco. Of course, you might remember Doug Kelly, the uh, way he parks his car, or parks his truck, rather. Perhaps you might see that he does a better job driving his boat. Number one in stock. Nice jump there. Bumpy waters in Deerfield Beach, Florida. It's a 35-foot Cobra powered by two 2.5 BFIs. Driver Ned Lipscomb and throttle man is Bruce Grout. Bruce is from Deerfield Beach, Florida, so he is a local, has a lot of fans here. Budweiser nationwide. Special thanks to Budweiser, Clarion Hotels, MBD Marketing, uh, Salello Brothers Flooring, Malfetta's uh, 46 Restaurant, City of Deerfield Beach, and of course SBI and Myco Trailers, Butt Girls and Gaffer Gages. Also Public Relations Manager Bonnie Bonbon Schaefer for all of her help, and of course the True Chief, Jimmy Z. Fredericks, Budweiser, Ned Lipskin, and Bruce Grout aboard. In second place in S class. Team Cigarette, Team Cigarette passing MAB Paints and now has moved into first place in Factory 2. Team Cigarette on the last turn passed MAB Paints to see if it can maintain that lead. Team Cigarette, 38 foot cigarette powered by two 500 horsepower Mercury's in boards, Jack Cabasso and Phil Lipschitz aboard. Great job there by Team Cigarette. They've got to keep that lead though in first place right now in Factory 2. First in points nationally for the SBI as well. There you see MAB paints in the background. On the final turn. They know it. They've got the checkered flag winning in Factory 2. Jack Cabasso, Phil Lipschutz. A lot of jubilation from the He's Team Cigarette. <laughs> Great job from Team Cigarette. Now aboard Coca-Cola. Joe Vasquez, Steve Lopez, and Dan Campbell. In second in Superboat. Yeah, 
smoke going. Wow. Is that Budweiser? I think so. Watch out for this little uh, freight knot boat. Well, that's it. The end of the fourth race in the SBI series. The Deerfield Beach Superboat Grand Prix is history. And we'll have the final results in just a moment. Exciting racing here in Deerfield Beach. And there you see uh, the damaged boat, Team Lazara. Uh, we don't know the extent of the injuries, but we, uh, we understand that they are okay. Uh, the Team Lazara teammates. And, of course, we also have Performance Marine flipping over and out of the race. And very shortly... We'll see that boat as well. In the meantime, there you see hundreds and hundreds of spectators having watched some exciting SBI racing here in Deerfield Beach. Of course, uh, the fourth race, we've got three more to go. The rest of the 1999 racing season was somewhat bumpy and a lot of flying going on, but highly competitive racing here at the SBI in Deerfield Beach. And there is Performance Marine. It flipped over and sunk, but the crew members are okay. Performance Marine. And Stainless Marine right behind. We're going with the A and B start. There's Nemshoff on the far outside and also Showdown. You'll see the boats uh, going out. We should say that the number of laps have been shortened by half in this race because of Hurricane Dennis. But the major, major ground swells that we see have, are not slowing the boats down at all. All right, just a few moments away from the beginning of this race. Stainless Express, there you can see the black boat, the first boat out there. we got Showdown and Nemshoff and, of course, Stainless Marine. Just a few moments away from the green flag as we await this race here in West Palm Beach. And we've got a green flag now in this A and B start in this 1999 West Palm Beach Offshore Challenge. There is Nemshoff on the outside and we've got Showdown on the inside. Showdown is a 30-foot Phantom powered by one 700 horsepower Blue Thunder Marine inboard. Driver is Fred Hayes, throttle man is Alva Hayes. They are from Miami, Florida. All right, now as we look to the leader, there is Extreme Stainless, a 29-foot Extreme, powered by one 700-horsepower Blue Thunder Speedmaster Drives. The driver is Rob Stapano. The bottom man is Rick Turmel. Lots of sponsors. Special thanks to local sponsors, including Days Inn and Singer Island. Also, My Martini Grill in West Palm Beach. Dollar Marine, also Extreme Power Boats. Stainless Marine, Jerry Schmidt, Alan Brown. Also, Blue Thunder Engines, Gaffrick Precision, r and r Custom Marine. There is Nemshoff on the outside going by. Nemshoff. Also, BAM, another sponsor, Rev Racing Valves. And special thanks to the Turmel family and all of uh, the family and friends, of course. Also, Debbie Fleischman for Public Relations for the team. Debbie Fleischman is the race director for Holiday Isle, along with Oprah. Would like to invite everyone to come down to the Holiday Isle race October 8th through 11th for lots of fun and an exciting weekend, of course, a great luau. That's the... All right, now let's go with TravelNon.com, a 28-foot Pantera, powered by one 500-horsepower Mercury inboard. B.J. Mayer is the driver. Joe Nunez is the throttle man. Special thanks to Mercury Racing, TNT Custom Rigging. Now, Joe Nunez is the second-generation racer. He's the son of Pepe Nunez, who was national champion in 1979. And his dad raced this same hull, powered by triple Mercury outboards, and also lit this boat in 1980, became the European champion. Travelnon.com, number one right now in Factory One. TravelNon.com, gate driving there by B.J. Mayer, throttle man Joe Nunez. Your leader in Factory One. Other competitors in Factory One include Ultimate Warlock, Odie, Eraser, Freedom Offshore Racing, Stressed Out, and Hollis Motorsports.
your leader in Factory One. An ultimate Warlock F-126, a 29-foot Warlock, powered by one 500-horsepower Mercury inboard with a Mercury Cruiser drive. Andrew Biddle is the driver. Throttle man is Lance Hendrickson. F-126, ultimate Warlock in a battle here for first place with Travelnon.com in Factory One class. This boat took a third place in Chesapeake, a second in Sarasota, and is currently in second place here in West Palm Beach in the battle for first with travelnone.com. Now this boat is maintained by Ray's Towns Performance Marine in Huntington, Pennsylvania. It's a high performance shop which rigs and maintains uh, inboard and outboard boats, racing as well as pleasure boats. In second place right now in Factory One, Ultimate Warlock. All right, here's another Warlock F-149 Eraser, a 28-foot Ultimate Warlock. It's uh, powered by one 500-horsepower Mercury inboard. Mike Milligan is the driver. Steve Wessinger is the throttle man. Steve is also the owner of Eraser. Now, this boat is currently in third place in the national point standings behind uh, Hollis Motorsports and Odie. So, once again, in third place in the national point standings. Crew members include David Milligan, Greg Salome, Walt Fair, and Lauren Wessinger. Around the turn there. Eraser. We are going to have the uh, first start, which is the Super V, the open and the modified. And there go Drampui, uh, Team Pepsi, and CGS Ferocious. And coming into the picture, we've got uh, uh, Pier 57, Fountain, and also Out of Bound coming up as well. And Ocean Spray is on the far outside. So Drampui, Team Pepsi, CGS Ferocious, Out of Bounds, Pier 57, Fountain, and Ocean Spray. And we've got a green flag now in this afternoon race here in this West Palm Beach Offshore Challenge. And it's Pepsi One and Fountain going to the immediate lead in the early moments with Dram Bowie on ice on the far outside. It's Pepsi One and Fountain and Dram Bowie, your early leaders in this race. Pepsi One, Dram Bowie and Fountain. There you see Fountain on the inside. And we're going to go with the leaders. There's Pepsi One and Dram Bowie on ice on the outside. Ah, beautiful jump, Pepsi One. Nice jump. We're going to go with Pepsi One. It's a 40-foot skater powered by two 800-horsepower Hawk inboards with Merc Cruiser drives. Jody Paterano is the driver. Charlie Hames is the throttle man. Pepsi One leads in the modified points for SBI and took a checkered flag in Miami and Sarasota earlier this year. There's Dram Bowie on ice on the outside. Dram Bowie on ice. Powered by two 900-horsepower inboards with Merc Cruiser drives. We've got uh, David McIntyre, he's the driver today, and John Tomlinson is the throttle man. Forrest Barber, the owner of Drambui on Ice. 45-foot skater. There's Pepsi One, Pepsi One in the modified. Your leader in this race. Pepsi One would like to give a special thanks to Michelle May for public relations. Drambui on ice in open class on the outside. Battle here between these two boats, though they are in different classes. Open and the modified. Drambui and Pepsi One on the inside. Now Drambui is your leader in this race in first. Great driving there by David McIntyre. John Tomlinson, in the throttle man. Of course, Freeze Frame Video Productions like to give a special thanks to the Dram Bouillon Ice Race Team for uh, taking our equipment to this race. 
great battle here between these two boats. Pepsi One and Drambuie on ice. And they're hauling around here offshore in West Palm Beach. All right, there's Pier 57 Fountain, a great battle here in Super V between these two boats. Pier 57 Fountain and Ocean Spray on the outside. Pier 57 Fountain is a 39-foot fountain fired by two uh, 1,000 horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Jeff Harris, the driver, Art Lilly, is a throttle man, and David Woods is the owner of Pier 57 Fountain. Crew members include Fred Tull, Luke Dickey, and James Jackson. Great competition in Super V class right now between Pier 57 Fountain and Ocean Spray. V76. Pier 57 Fountain is first in points in Super V for the year. There's Ocean Spray right behind. Not too much room between these two boats. Snapperhead, as we see this great battle here in Factory 2. Snapperhead offshore, 34 foot phantom powered by two 500 horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Uh, Tony Mazzone is the driver, Stephen Gross from the throttle man, and Rodney Robertson is the navigator. Snapperhead offshore, F221, and there they are. Great battle in Factory 2. Sponsors include Atlas Services, Phantom Boats, and Paradigm Boat Charters. Number one right now in Factory 2. Snapperhead, and there on the outside, is Awesome. Great battle there between Awesome and Snapperhead. Battle for first place. Around the turn now, snap ahead on the inside, awesome on the outside. Awesome on the outside, keeping close. Great battle here. Mike Anderson and Rick Anderson aboard awesome, factory two. 35 foot formula. There is Awesome once again on the outside, and Snapperhead, of course, great battle. As we said, uh, in Awesome, we have Mike Anderson, the driver, Rick Anderson, the throttle man, it's a 35-foot formula, powered by two, 500-horsepower Mercury imports, Mercury drives. Rick, Rick Anderson is the owner of this 35-foot formula. Awesome. F-277. Brand new team this year and has run uh, very well in every race that it's entered in this 1999 racing season. There you see going over the ground swells caused by Hurricane Dennis. Top of the pack in Factory 2. Awesome. There they are. Guys, Bruce Benhall is the driver. Dennis Agalos is the throttle man. And once again, their sponsors include Ocean Spray, Rex Marine, Orange Company Food, Penhall Company, Pennzoil, and Penhall Optical. Ocean Spray. Nice jump there by Ocean Spray. Rocking and rolling here offshore in West Palm Beach. Hurricane Dennis has made it interesting. in 
this race. And now we're going to go with Sit for Shine. Sit for Shine is a 28-foot skater, powered by 22.5 EFIs. Joe Black, the driver. Paul Whittier, the throttle man. S1 Sit for Shine, your national champion in Superstock for 1998. Currently in this 1999 racing season, it is first in points. Citrus Shine, Joe Black, the owner, but his 29 foot skater. Sponsors include Citrus Shine, main sponsor, and Timberline Construction, Inc., and Gotcha. Nice throttling there by Paul Whittier. from Whitefish, Montana. Little back shot there with our onboard camera. Seven onboards in this race, provided by Freeze Frame Video Productions. Back to the helicopter shot, sit and shine. S1. On board now. Joe Black and Paul Whittier. Here's Joe the driver. Nice job there by Joe Black. He is from Hawaiian Gardens, California. Paul Whittier is a throttle man. Primco, Primco S31, a 30-foot Spectre. It's powered by two 2.5 EFIs. The driver, Doug Kelly. Uh, Gary Ballou is the throttle man navigator. Doug Kelly and Gary Ballou. Primco S31, powered by two 2.5 EFIs. In second place right now in Superstock. Took a first place, a checker flag in Deerfield Beach, and there they are. Doug Kelly and Gary Ballou. 
Onboard camera shot. One of seven onboard cameras in this race. Provided by Freeze Frame Video. Doug Kelly and Gary Ballou. Doug from Boca Raton. Actually, Gary is also from Boca Raton. Doing a fine job aboard Prime Co. In second place in Superstock. And this will be the last boat that we'll be covering for you. And afterwards, uh, we'll give you the final results of this afternoon's race. And also, we'll recap the winners in the morning's race. Now we see some more boats uh, getting into view and lining up there behind the pace boat. And there we see Alcone Motorsports, Triple X Muscle, Popeye, uh, Performance Marine, uh, Extractor also in the shot. There is Popeye. As they begin to move up the Hudson. Alcone Muscle, Popeye, Performance Marine, Extractor. We've got a green flag now. A green flag in this 1999 New York Superboat Grand Prix here on the Hudson in the Big Apple. And Alcone Motorsports out to the immediate lead right now. It's Alcone Motorsports followed by Dram Bouy on Ice and Popeye. There is Alcone really trying to tear away from our helicopter, really moving up the Hudson. Alcone Motorsports, Dram Bouy and Popeye. You're immediate. There is Dram Bouy on Ice on the inside. Dram Bouy on Ice and Popeye. Your initial leaders in this race. The fifth in this racing series, SBI. There's Grand Bowie on ice. And there is the Empire State Building in the background. It's Empire State. Grand Bowie on ice. 45-foot skater. Boris Barber and John Tomlinson aboard. Beautiful day here in New York City. Grand Bowie. Powered by Keith Eichard in boards. There is Sloppy Joe's looking downfield. Sloppy Joe's. Mike Gerard, Art Gerard, and uh, aboard this 46-foot skater, Sloppy Joe's. Early moments of this 1999 New York Superboat Grand Prix. And there is Alcone Motorsports. Alcone Motorsports, a 45-foot skater. Powered by two 1300 Sterling inboards with Mercury Drives. Let's go aboard now, Alcone Motorsports. Matt Alcone at the wheel, as you can see. Jerry Gilbraith is the throttle man. Here's our rear shot. We've got two onboard cameras aboard Alcone Motorsports. And they've got a green flag as they put the hammer down there. Alcone Motorsports. Matt Alcone at the wheel. Jerry Gilbraith, the throttle man. Just listen to those sterling inboards. 2,600 horsepower. Now come Motorsports pulling away from the rest of the field, as you can see with our rear view camera. Other competitors uh, in Superboat are Drambuy on Ice and Sloppy Joes, but outgoing right now is your leader, 
in class and first overall. There's our helicopter, as you can see in the distance. Outcome Motorsports pulling away. That's Sterling Helicopters out of Philadelphia. Our pilot for today, Mr. Paul Larson. Great job. Alco Motorsports, Matt Alcone at the wheel. Gary Gilbraith the throttle. Alco Motorsports, the owner, this 45 foot skater. Beautiful skyline of New York City. There is Alcone just pulling away from our helicopter. Alco Motorsports, number one. All right, now we're going to go with Dram Bowie on ice. Dram Bowie on ice. Another 45-foot skater powered by two 950-horsepower Keith Eichert inboards with Mercruiser Drive. As far as Barbara the driver, John Tomlinson, the throttle man. And feeds the knee, the owner of this 45-foot skater. Dram Bowie on ice. Here's Forrest Barber at the wheel. John Tomlinson is the throttle man. Let's go on board. This is at the start. Just listen to that power. Keep accurate inboards. Free Spray Video Productions would like to thank the Grand Boy and Ice Racing Team for helping us to transport our equipment to the various venues uh, throughout this 1999 racing season. shot and going around the turn there a little bit Grand Bowie on ice Grand Bowie on ice is really running with open motors but is running in Superboat today doing a great job Forrest Barber from Fort Worth, Texas. John Tomlinson from Miami. cameras on board Grand Tour. You're watching the early moments of the New York Superboat Grand Prix. Fast racing here on the Hudson River. The big boats and the big end.
cockpit, Grant Bouyanich. Bowie on ice with our helicopter shot. In second place right now in this race. Second place in Super Bowl. Some spectator boats there alongside. Beautiful day here in the Big Apple. There is the Travel uh, on Ice uh, helicopter diver medic support team, the Angel Ship. They're going around the turn. There is R and R Bull on the beach. It's hot. It's third overall and first in C class, powered by Bandit Racing Engines and rigged and maintained by uh, Kurtz Marine Competition Center. Bull on the beach has a new sponsor this year: Silitex for building supplies and manufacture of roof shingles. R and R Bull on the beach in first place in C, and and there goes Popeye now. Popeye moves into third. R&R still in first place, though, in C-Class. Popeye in third place overall. Popeye is in Super V and dominating Super V. In second place in the National Point standings in Super V. Coming up a checkered flag in Deerfield Beach and had a checkered flag in Key West earlier this year. Popeye in Super V. Drivers Dominic Visconti Jr., throttle man Jim Dyke, Dominic Visconti Jr., the owner of this 44-foot skater powered by two 1,300 horsepower Sterling Performance inboards with Mercury Drives, Popeye V80. Third place overall, and first place in Super V. And once again, second place in the National Point standings in Super V. Of course, we have two onboard cameras aboard Popeye, one forward and one rear. And we will go aboard Popeye shortly. There we are with Dominic Visconti Jr. and Jim, Jim Dyke. Dominic got the wheel, Jim the throttle man. Empire State Building in the background. There's Chelsea Pierce. Great Athletic Center. Downtown Manhattan on the west side. Popeye. Other competitors in Super V performs marine racing and triple X muscle. All right, we're going to go aboard Popeye once again, this time at the start. Rear shot, 44 foot ski. There's Bull on the Beach there on the right side, r, &R Racing. As we look at our rear view camera from Papa, V80. Number one in Super V. Third overall in this race. Once again in the cockpit. r, &R in Offshore Sea. In first place. There's R and 
Bauer once again. Coming up on the right side. This is the fifth race in the Superboat International America Racing Series. Top five, first in class. Helitex for building supplies and the manufacture of America's roof shingles. And right now, Bull on the Beach is number one in Offshore Sea. Cracking around this course. Other competition in Offshore Sea, we've got Style and Rolling Thunder 2, Extractor, and Dunkin' Donuts. Bull on the Beach, though, is number one right now in C-Class. And there is the Celotex logo, new sponsor for 1999 R&R Racing. C7, number one in C. All right, top of the pack, you know, I'm sure see it's Dunkin' Donuts, a 36-foot Cobra powered by two 700-horsepower Pro Marine imports with Mercury Drives. Robert Muller, the driver. Jay Muller is the throttle man. Dunkin' Donuts, Elf Lubricant sponsors for this boat. And uh, once again, top of the pack in offshore sea. Now, due to helicopter traffic in the area, we're going to leave uh, Dunkin' Donuts, but we will come back to this boat a little bit later on. Dunkin' Donuts. Beautiful New York City, lower Manhattan skyline, and there it is. A beautiful place for a race here, the Hudson River. As we look at some more boats. Great backdrop for this SBI race, the fifth in the series. And uh, looking up field, there we see Stylin. Stylin in an offshore sea, a 36-foot Spectre, powered by two 750-horsepower performance marine Osiris racing engines with Merc Cruiser drives. And uh, aboard Stylin, we've got driver Al Rulo, Jason Saris is the throttle man, and Jeff Burchie is the navigator. Sponsors include Capital Land GMC Subaru, Performance Marina Lake George, also Performance Trailers in Lake George, and Auto Bear Express. Al Rulo, the driver, Jason Saris, the throttle man, Jeff Burchie, the navigator. Two checkered flags in a row for this team, both in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Stylin Offshore Sea. These engines built by Saris Racing Engines in Lake George. Stylin in second place in Offshore Sea. Special thanks to Jay Pellini, Spectre Barabos. This boat is maintained by Performance Marina Lake George. Top of the pack and offshore sea.
There on the inside, Sunset Racing F18. Sunset. Timothy McGann and Dave Brower and Jason Dick Ramison aboard. Sunset. Sunset Avenue. Duncan Donuts, C-33, a 36-foot Cobra powered by two 700-horsepowered Pro Marine inboards with Mercury drives. Robert Muller and Jay Muller aboard Duncan Donuts. Of course, Duncan Donuts, the main sponsor of this 36-foot Cobra. Others include out lubricants, Earl's Performance Products, NGK Spark Plugs, Kicker Audio Speakers, and Professional Marine Racing. C-33, Duncan Donuts. Job there by Bob Muller. He's the driver. Jay Muller, the throttle man. Jason Muller, the owner. 36 foot cover. Jason is from Ohokus, New Jersey. Other competitors in offshore sea. We got Style and Rolling Thunder, too. Pull on the beach and extract. And Jet Set Aviation with uh, Bob Vila, Farmingdale, New York. Number one right now, instigator in uh, offshore B. B1 has won every race that it's entered in this 1999 racing season. An astounding record this year so far. State area here in New York City, the Big Apple. And of course, New Jersey right across the room. Going down to the Statue of Liberty. You may see in the distance. Number one, an offshore peak. There you see part of Ellis Island as well. Great place to have a race here because the spectators can get up close and personal along the shores of either New Jersey or uh, Manhattan. Watch this race. Great spectator vantage point. Intimidator in Factory One, Dominic Cavagnolo and Dominic Guido. On board. In factory one. 27 foot activator powered by one 500 horsepower Mercury inboard with a Mercruiser drive. Dominic Guido is the owner of Intimidator. F13. Come on, close. Dominic Cavagnolo, oh, the driver. Dominic Guido is the navigator and oh, throttle man. We're coming, come on. We got him. We'll take him on the inside. You got the hammers down? 
Go, bro. Go, baby, we're gonna get on him. Watch the water. It's gonna get snotty on I got it. I got it. I got it. Just do the throttles, baby. Do what I think, baby. Watch your time. Cut you off! He's gonna Let's screw go. you! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Come Let's on! Get off. Put the heavens down! Uh-oh, the boat just hooked, and both driver and throttle man were thrown out of the boat. An incredible shot. Let's see that again. Let's go, baby. Come Let's on. Put the heavens down. Just an amazing shot. Just in a split second. Both Dominic Guido and Cavagnolo were thrown out from the force of that hooking of the boat. The Let's see it in slow motion. Oh, baby, we're gonna get on him. Watch the water. It's gonna get snotty. I got it. I got it. I got it. You can see the force the throwing them out together like that. Do what I think, baby. But fortunately, both driver and throttle man are okay. Just an incredible shot. Just an incredible occurrence here in New York City oh, oh, baby, at this SBI. It's gonna get snotty. I got it. it. I got it. I got it. Just do the throttles, baby. Do what I think, baby. In one moment, they're in the boat. In a split second, they are out of the boat, tumbling out. But luckily, very luckily, they had no injuries and they are okay. Very lucky, Dominic Cavagnolo and Dominic Guido, driver and throttle man of Intimidator F1. Let's go. Just an amazing shot. Provided by Freeze Frame Video Productions onboard camera. Let's go, baby. Come on. Up. Put the heavens down. One more time in real time here. Just an amazing incident here in New York City. And not only were they lucky not to survive, not to have any injuries as they uh, went out of the boat, but they were not hit by any other boats that might have been behind them. A very lucky driver and throttle man. An incredible, incredible footage aboard this boat, Intimidator. And there is a rescue boat right behind. As we said, both driver and throttle man are okay. And now let's get back to the race. There is Instigator now. The Instigator B1, a 40-foot fountain, powered by two 750-horsepower Bandit Racing engines. Mercruiser drives, number one in offshore B. Joe Scrow, the driver, Peter Meyer, the throttle man. And there is Pennzoil going around the turn, Pennzoil. All right, we're gonna go with Buckshot now. Buckshot is a four-foot supplement B30, powered by two 750-horsepower BNG Marine inboards with Mercury Drives, the driver is Mark Springer, navigator Larry Whirlin, and throttle man is Bill Feister. Buckshot B30. Now the Buckshot racing team would like to thank first off its sponsors, Whirlin Brothers Marina, especially Charlie, Drew, and Larry for providing a home for Buckshot and the use of their beautiful facility. Also Gary Hartman of BG Marine for building reliable racing engines and maintaining Buckshot, and also automated tapping systems for their financial support. And of course, the Buckshot crew, especially Paul, Craig, Jimmy, Keith, and Timmy, for providing comic relief. And uh, Bill uh, Feist would like to thank his daughter, Jordan, for putting up with uh, the late nights working on Buckshot. And also special thanks to Valerie and Buck. Top of the pack, Buckshot in Offshore B. B-30. We haven't seen this boat in quite a while, but it's running like it has in the past. 
top of the pack in offshore B. Buckshot, Mark Springer, Larry Whirlin, and William Pfister. Nine, New York Superboat, Grant Bree. Bodyguard, S69, there are those two 2.5 EFIs. Al Fiella and Jeff Dendo, Bodyguard Motorsports, the owner of this 30-foot skater. From the Empire State, this fifth race in this SBI Racing Series. Other competitors in stock, we got Haviland, uh, Franco, Barracuda, Budweiser, and Trade and Swap. Bodyguard around the turn. There's Bodyguard and Buckshot on the outside. And there on the inside, dominating Factory 2 is Fountain Parts Runner, a 38 foot fountain powered by two 500 horsepower Mercruiser uh, inboards with Mercruiser drives. Roger Osley, the driver. David Knight is the throttle man. Dominating Factory 2, Fountain Parts Runner. They're on the inside. F215. Sponsors include, first off, soft seal, weather stripping, and detail items out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Also, Ohio Auto uh, Mat, Sunbrella, division of Glen Raven Mills, Carolina Performance Marine, North Carolina's newest fountain dealer, Charlotte, North Carolina. The owners are David Knight and uh, Ralph Johnson. Special thanks to the crew chief, Tommy Jordan of uh, Graham, North Carolina. And special thanks to Britt Springs of Caroline Performance Marine, Gary Anderson of Soft Seal, and Steve Elkington and Roger Niehoff of Ohio Auto Mac. And of course, Reggie Fountain of Fountain Powerboats. And Sumbrella, division of Glen Raven Mills, Glen Raven, North Carolina, makers of boat covers and outdoor awning. Lots of competition in Factory 2. Uh, this boat, of course, Fountain Parts Runner, is dominating the class. Other competitors include Cigarette, Team Apache, Fountain Matco, Team Supin, Outer Limits, Yesta Telecon, and Mohegan Sun. But number one is Fountain Parts Runner, F215. Nice driving there by Roger Osley. David Knight is the throttle man. They're one of those uh, spectator boats that goes around uh, Manhattan Island, a cruise ship. 
getting a chance to watch this race. Primco and Wild Child. Primco there up ahead and Wild Child right behind. But first we're gonna go with Primco in S class. Prime goes a 30-foot specter powered by two 2.5 EFIs. Doug Kelly's the driver. Gary Ballou is the throttle man. A gorilla racing the owner of this 30-foot specter. Prime Co. S31. Currently the second place in the national point standings for SBI in this 1999 racing season. Nice job there, Prime Co. as it goes up the river. Doug Kelly and Gary Ballou doing a fine job. Little rock and roll, but no problem here on the Hudson. With our onboard camera, they see Doug Kelly at the wheel. Gary Ballou, the throttle man. There's Al Kill Motorsports, who's cranking around this course, number one overall and number one in Superbook. Other competitors in S include Barracuda, Budweiser Trade and Swap, Bodyguard, and Haviland Racing. But we are on Pratco right now. S31. Doug Kelly and Gary Ballou, driver and throttle man. They're both in Boca with Don Clark. Nice job at the wheel, Doug Kelly. Round the turn. Top of the back in Factory 2, it's Outer Limits Wild Child, a 37-foot Outer Limits, powered by two 500-horsepower Outer Limits uh, in board with Mercury Drives. Bob Russell is a driver. Mike Bjor is a throttle man. Outer Limits Wild Child, top of the pack in Factory 2. As we said, this is a 37-foot Outer Limits Stiletto with uh, two 500-horsepower engines, which is the same as available from your local dealer. It features uh, our hand-laid fiberglass construction and a ventilated bottom. The boat also features 5'7 inch of headroom in the cabin, which is equipped with an enclosed head, a galley with ice box, leather U-lounge, and full V-berth. Also available with custom engine applications with speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. Outer Limits are located in Bristol, Rhode Island. Custom manufacturer of 37 and 47 foot offshore power boats. 
All boats are limited for now. Wild Child. Top of the pack in factory two. Robert Russell and Mike Fjord, driver and Bravo Man. You're watching the 1999 New York Superboat Grand Prix, fifth race in a series. The next race will be in the Bahamas. Of course, Beach Frame Video Productions will be there. There's Grand Bowie on ice going by. And Dunkin' Donuts on the outside. Grand Bowie and Dunkin' Donuts. As we're watching a wild child. F-237. Now we're all going around the turn. Statue of Liberty, of course, in the background. Liberty Island. Up the river once again past the World Trade Center. Grand Bowie on ice. we got wild child and Dunkin' Donuts. All right, now we're going to go with the F-213 cigarette in Factory 2, a 38-foot cigarette powered by two 500-horsepower Merc Cruiser inboards with Merc Cruiser drives Jack Cabazzo, the driver. Phil Lipschutz is the throttle man. Three checkered flags in a row for this boat. Checkered flag in Deerfield Beach, Key West, and New Jersey, and leads your national point standings for SBI in Factory 2. Cigarette. Top of the pack in Factory 2. Cigarette Racing Team, the owner of this 38-foot cigarette. We have two onboard cameras on this boat, one forward and one looking rear. And we will go on board shortly. Aboard F-213. Great center splash, a little sure shot there. Our front view camera. Jack Cabasso and Phil Lipschitz. Jack at the wheel. Build the throttle. Cigarette, back for a helicopter shot, F-213, top of the back in Factory 2. Cabasso and Lipschutz aboard. Three checkered flags in a row, Deerfield, Key West, and New Jersey, and Leeds, SBI point standings for this season so far.
There's Wild Child up ahead. Wild Child. Battle here in Factory 2. Wild Child with Robert Russell and Mike Bjork. 37 foot outer limits. Wild Child. And Cigarette. Cigarette right behind. All right, there is Barracuda on the outside and Team Suffin on the inside. Of course, Barracuda in uh, stock class. Team Suffin in Factory 2, a 33-foot Suffin powered by two 500-horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercury's drives. Brian Kirby, the driver, Neil Kirby, the navigator. Doug Lewis is the throttle man. Suffin Marine is the owner of Team Suffin's 33-footer. Other competitors in this class include, of course, a cigarette. Team Apache, Fountain Matco. Outer Limits, Fountain Parts Runner, Siesta Telecon, and Mohegan Sun. But we are with Team Suffin right now. 33-footer. Top of the pack in Factory 2. There's Slappy Joe's on the outside going by in third place in Superboat class. Sal Cone, a drop buoy on ice, and the Sloppy Joe's, one, two, and three in Superboat. Here's the circle line, which goes around Manhattan, giving those uh, tourists a treat today. It was a great race on the Hudson River. There's Sloppy Joe's in third in Superboat on the outside. Team Suffin on the inside. Brian Kirby, Neil Kirby, and Doug Lewis. Teams up and going around the turn. Beautiful day, beautiful skyline here in the Big Apple. There is Sloppy Joe's once again in third in Super Bowl. All right, Team Apache, uh, F-236, a 37-foot Apache powered by two 500-horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Carl Pansky is a driver. Bob Sassenti is a throttle man. In Factory 2 class, Team Apache. Took a second place in Deerfield Beach earlier this year. Mercury powered 37 foot Apache. Lots of competitors in Factory 2. Eight competitors in all. Fountain Matco. We got Outer Limits. Fountain Parts Runners. He has the Telecon Mohegan and Cigarette. And of course, Team Summer. Highly competitive class. There you see the Midtown Manhattan skylines. Empire State Building in the background. A little to the right over, there is also the Chrysler Building. Team Apache. Carl Patsky and Bob Sassenti doing a fine job.
Kelsey Pierce there in the background. There's a fountain parts runner apparently having some problems slowing down. Part, fountain parts runner with some problems. There's Team Apache. And once again, there is Chelsea Pierce. There's Bodyguard and Superstock. Bodyguard. In second place in Superstock. All right, we're going to go with another fountain. Yes, the Telecon Fountain F276 in Factory 2, a 36 foot fountain powered by two 500 horsepower Mercury imports with Merc Cruiser drives. Tom Hanshaw, the driver. Bill Hanshaw is the throttle man. And on the outside is Pennzoil. Pennzoil on the outside going by. We're going to stay with Siesta Telecon Fountain. Now, let's just give you a little update on Factory 2. Uh, Fountain Matco really uh, dropped out of the race very early. Uh, Team Suffolk had some problem and apparently just went off the track. Out of limits, Wild Child also apparently went into the infield and is out of the race. And uh, as we saw, Fountain Parts runner was slowing down and has some problems and is out of the race. Now, leading only is yes, the Telecon in fourth place, Ohegan Sun in third, Team Apache in second, and Cigarette in first. Now, this change in positioning could affect the Siesta Telecon and could possibly help it to move into second place in the national point standings for SBI. Of course, the Siesta Telecom racing team like to thank their sponsors. Siesta Telecom, a prepaid phone card company from Sarasota, Florida, Intercoastal Marine and Fountain Power Boats. Also special thanks to Rick Jr. at Innovation Marine for helping to keep the boat race ready. Also to Scott Eichmann, uh, our crew chief, and uh, Tom Jr., the navigator, and to Tom Sr., the driver. Now, as we said, F-276 is throttled by Bill Hanshaw. He is from Fort Worth, Texas. He's just a telecom main sponsor. Came on board for the Key West race and will be on board for the balance of this SBI season. Of course, which includes the Bahamas race coming up and the World Championship at Key West in November. Of course, Freeze Frame Video Productions will be at all those venues to cover those races. All right, now let's go with the Extinguisher A1 in production A class, a 30-foot superboat as it goes around the turn. Powered by one 770 horsepower MRD inboard with a Mercury drive. Anthony Perry, the driver. Gary Guido is the throttle man. Extinguisher. Our sponsors include Argent and Vodka, owned by Martin Silver, based on Long Island and Syosset. Also, leader of fire protection, and a special thanks to MRD. Extinguisher, Gary Guido, the owner of this 30-foot Superboat. Other competitors in production, they include Bronx Fatten right now, which is your leader. Ventboat.com and Team Outlaw. Team Outlaw, though, is out of the list. In second place, Extinguisher in production A. Of course, the beautiful New York City skyline. New York, New York. Extinguisher, your 1997 and 1998 National Champion. Nice driving there by Anthony Perry and uh, battle man Gary Guido. Gary, Gary Guido, 
is the cousin of Dominic Guido, who uh, was ejected from Intimidator. said those guys are okay. Extinguish your powered by MRD. We're cruising dry. 30 foot superboat. Gary Guido, the owner, he is from Brooklyn, New York. A lot of local support here at this New York City superboat Grand Prix. Arjun Baca, of course, one of their main sponsors. Barracuda has 18, a 30-foot Spectre, powered by two 2.5 EFIs. Chris Marshall is the driver. Dennis Berry is the throttle man. Sponsors include Clats Oil, Napa Marine, also Advanced Sleeves, uh, DuPont, Matco Propellers, and the Berry Performance Marine. Uh, now this boat took a third place in Point Pleasant, also a first place in Point Pleasant, and a second place in St. Clair earlier this year. Currently, they're in first place in the National Point standings for U.S. Offshore. Barracuda. Top of the pack in stock class. Now Chris Marshall, the driver, uh, he used to race in A-class in Bermuda eight years ago and he captured the national championships. And he is driving today. Top of the pack in stock. Barracuda. Statue of Liberty in the background. Onboard Alcone Motorsports in first place in Superboat. And first overall, Alcone Motorsports. Alcone slowing down now as it uh, crosses the finish line. Alcone Motorsports, a great run here in New York City. Dominated the race. There's Graham Bowie on ice. Graham Bowie on ice in second place in Super Bowl. Boris Barber and John Tomlinson.
Drambuie on ice also slowing down, having crossed the finish line, capturing a second place in Super Bowl. With open boat motors doing upgraded to Superboat did very well. All right, on board Popeye now in first place in Super V led the whole race in this class. Popeye with Dominic Wisconsi Jr. and Jim Dyke. Popeye. Popeye slowing down, crossing the finish line, getting the checkered flag in first place in Super V. There you have inside the cockpit view with our onboard camera, Popeye. Dominic Visconzi Jr. and Jim Dyke. All right, now let's go aboard Cigarette Racing. Take this boat to the finish line as well. In first place in Factory 2. That's definitely my fault. It has to be. I, ain't no way I could have been off more than one. Well, let's just keep going. Huh? You want to just keep going? No. Finish that system. Number one in Factory 2. Go by the scoring boat. Here's Outcone Motorsports now, getting a well-deserved checkered flag in Supermote class. Outcone Motorsports was cranked around this course, dominated this race, was really smoking from uh, green flag to checkered flag, and there they get their checkered flag right there. Well-deserved Outcone Motorsports. Matt Outcone waving a well-deserved checkered flag. All right, there's the Popeye racing team. Dominic Visconze Jr. getting third checkered flag in a row. Checkered flag here in New York, also Key West and Deerfield Beach, and we believe that will push him ahead of Performance Marine in the national standings for the SBI in 1999. Popeye. All right, there's a beautiful lower Manhattan skyline there. Wall Street and, of course, the Twin Towers. A beautiful day here in the Big Apple, New York City. A great race here, this 1999 New York Superboat Grand Prix. Highly competitive, great racing. Only one mishap, that was in Intimidator, where both the uh, driver and throttle men were ejected from the boat as they hooked. But they are okay. There's a Statue of Liberty, of course, Liberty Island. Great place to have a race, very scenic, beautiful here in the Big Apple. Lady Liberty watching the Grand Prix. All right, here in Superboat, Alco Motorsports, you saw it getting the checkered flag, followed by Drabouille on ice in second, Sloppy Joes in third. In Superboat, Alco Motorsports, your winner. Alco, number one in Superboat class.
In Super V was Popeye. We saw that one as well. With Dominic Visconti Jr. Performance Marine coming out in second place. Triple X Muscles in third. Popeye number one in Super V. Three checkered flags in a row. In B-Class, Shockwave in first place, followed by Instigator and Buckshot in third. Shockwave getting the checkered flag. In A-Class, Bronx Phantom on top, followed by Extinguisher and Bentboat.com in third. Bronx Phantom, in A-Class, your winner, getting the checkered flag. And in C-Class, it was Stylin, followed by Roland Thunder and Duncan Donuts. Stylin, number one in C-Class. In Factory 2, Cigarette in first place, followed by Team Apache Treadwell, bringing up third place. Cigarette in first place in Factory 2. That's three checkered flags in a row for Cigarette here in New York City, Key West, and Deerfield Beach, Florida. Factory 1, it was Warlock coming out on top, followed by Fury and Accelerator. Warlock number one in Factory 1. And in Superstock Class, Havlin is your winner, followed by Bodyguard and Primco bringing up third. Havlin, number one in Superstock. And that is it. Those are your results in this 1999 New York Superboat Grand Prix, the fifth in a series. The fifth race, of course, the next will be in the Bahamas, but this was a great one. Highly competitive race, and uh, most of all, safe racing. No injuries, no one was hurt, only one minor mishap. A great race right here in the Empire State. And, of course, Freeze Frame Video Productions was certainly proud to be a part of it. Now, before we go, there are a few people we would like to thank. First off, Forrest Barber and the rest of the Trambui on Ice racing team for helping us to transport our equipment throughout this 1999 racing season. Also, Sterling Helicopters out of Philadelphia for doing a fine job for us and our pilot today, of course, Mr. Paul Larson. Gary and Nancy Johnson for their expert camera work. And Peter Magnani, our onboard camera installer. And, uh, of course, uh, we will hope to see you in the Bahamas for the next race. If not there, we'll see you in Key West or at St. Petersburg, Florida. Wishing you a fond farewell. I'm Mitchell Parry from the Empire State. Bye, everyone.